Welcome to the Norman Regional Health System's Fox 25 post-game show. Here are your hosts, Myron Patton, Curtis Fitzpatrick, and Danielle Dwyer. Hi, everyone. I'm Curtis. Danielle right here, Oklahoma, with a emphatic 48-14 to win over UCLA. This is our Fox 25 postgame show. Welcome, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the game. I'm sure you did if you're an Oklahoma fan. Oklahoma, just another dominating performance. Uh, we're going to hear from Lincoln Riley, all the Sooner particulars who impacted this game. We'll go out to Pasadena here in a second. Danielle, your first impressions. Well, it was another powerhouse offensive performance by the Sooners and Jalen Hurts. And Curtis, you know that I've been on the Heisman train when yeah. it comes to Jalen Hurts this whole time. So, and I'm going to stick with that. I think <laughs> this is a chance for Lincoln Riley to three-peat in New York at the Heisman ceremony. He has a chance. I mean, Jalen, when you look at him, he had over 400 yards of total offense again tonight himself, over 600 yards of total offense for the Sooners. I mean, a great, another great offensive performance. Yeah, it was dominant. Myron Patton joins us live from uh, Jalen Hurts looked great. Lincoln Riley's offense continues to look great. Uh, and, and I know, I, you know, I saw some shots of the stands. I know the OU fans were a plenty out there in Pasadena. Yeah, they really were. That's kind of one of the big side stories is that the, the fans that are here from Oklahoma, and of course you got a lot of uh, transplanted Sooners who live out here as well. And I tweeted earlier, it kind of reminded me of some of those old games when Oklahoma would go play Baylor in their old stadium at Floyd Casey Stadium. And it seemed like every OU fan who couldn't get a ticket in Norman would drive five hours and go to Waco and watch the game. And it'd be as many Sooner fans as Baylor fans. And this was very similar. Uh, kind of an eerie situation because the stands were not full like we normally see it in a Rose Bowl or just another big game. But a lot of Sooner fans on hand to watch Oklahoma, as you say, have a very, very dominating performance. Jalen Hurts, uh, a lot of eyeballs on him because he transfers from Alabama. They want to compare how he throws the football compared to what he does at Oklahoma. And I think just the overview of him is that he seems to be in total command of what he wants to do, whether it's running, throwing. Uh, he can just make plays, and uh, it's going to show in the stats. I know you guys get into a little bit later on, but just a dominating performance by Jalen Hurts and really the Oklahoma offense. Yeah, and listen, you know, Lincoln Riley, uh, Myron, I, I think you know, we give credit to Jalen Hurts. Equal parts, though, Lincoln Riley, and then that group of skill players they have. I mean, they are loaded, but it all starts to me, Danielle, with, with Lincoln Riley and his ability to call plays and, and, and maneuver the defense where they don't know what's going on. Yeah, Lincoln's really been the quarterback whisperer, as he's kind of been dubbed as of late, especially when you look at you have Baker. Ah. 